In Part B, I'm told water is leaking out of a tank at a constant rate of 2 gallons per minute. The tank initially held 12 gallons of water. Use this information to create a data table and a graph that describe this situation. So let's figure out what our input is. Um, so I'm starting in this tank with 12 gallons of water and then every two minutes I lose two gallons. So what's changing is the number of minutes. So my input is going to be time and that's going to be in minutes. My output is going to be the amount of water that's left. So gallons of water. So if we start with an input of zero, so this is zero minutes have passed, then according to the information at the beginning here in this information, I have 12 gallons of water. So every one minute, so the next minute, then I lose two gallons. So that takes me down to 10. So at two minutes, I lose another two. Three minutes takes me down to six gallons. Four takes me down to four gallons. Five takes me down another two gallons. And at six minutes, I should have zero gallons in the tank. So as I'm looking at our gallons of water, let's just add in the tank because that's really what we're describing. All right, let's figure out how to um, graph. So my input is time in minutes, my horizontal axis. My vertical axis is gallons in the tank, gallons of water. All my values for input and output are positive, so I am going to work only with a first quadrant graph. Now let's figure out what our tick marks should be. I have 20 little grid marks here, so my inputs go from 0 to 6, so I'm going to take every 3 and that is a tick mark of 1. So that will spread our data out pretty nicely. Then our verticals, the highest is 12. And that takes me all the way down to zero. So if I go units of two, that would mean I'd need 24 grid marks, which is too many. Um, I don't really want to go tick marks, not really units, but tick marks of 1.5, because then that just gets to be awkward to work with. So I'm just going to go ahead and use tick marks of one, even though that's going to leave me with some space up here at the top. So let's go one, two, three, four, five. We'll just label them every five here. One, two, three, four, five. That gives me 10. That's 15 and 20. Now let's label A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then we'll go ahead and we'll graph our ordered pairs. Pause the video, take the time to graph, plot, label your ordered pairs, and then figure out if you feel like they should be connected. Then restart the video and make sure you're on the right track. So once you have all your points plotted and labeled, this is what your graph should look like. I've decided to connect the points Notice they start at 0, 12, end at 6, 0, and there isn't anything else going on here because once we get to 6, 0, all the water is gone from the tank. I did decide to connect them because my time is moving along the horizontal axis, and I can have a half a minute or 1.1 minutes or 3.6 minutes, etc. So each of these time values will have a corresponding amount of water that's left in the tank.